Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at the iPhone 6S running iOS 12. The iPhone 6S is still one of Apple's most popular smartphones. A lot of people are still using the 6S. It is a great device, great performance. And with iOS 12, Apple promises that this performance will increase. Things like launching the camera should launch up to 75% faster or 70% faster on the iPhone 6S. Uh, things like uh, multitasking should be 30% faster. The, the keyboard popping up and dismissing it up to 50% faster. But none of that means anything if Apple tells us, but it's not true. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at all those things and see if Apple really delivered on their promise to make the iPhone 6s a better device with iOS 12. So first let's talk about the UI applications and UI changes. Apple did redesign a few applications like stock and I also want you guys to take notice at the speed of these applications launching memos applications redesigned completely here stock applications redesigned completely here and we also have the new measures application which uses augmented reality to help you measure things around you so this is a fully featured application that's on newer devices also available here on the iphone 6s so in terms of ui changes and new applications implementation with the iphone 6s with ios 12 everything is fully featured here so i'm very happy for that next i want to talk about software features in ios 12 iphone 6s group notifications is here so no longer the long scrolling list you also have your manage tab right here where you can choose the option how to deliver these notifications within ios 12 fully featured on the iphone success great implementation here for group notifications you can 3d touch of course and bring up this menu so in terms of notifications it's fully featured here as well so what about major features like screen time well digital health is here fully featured on the iphone 6s for those of you that don't know this feature will allow you to better monitor the way you use your device so it gives you a better way to monitor a digital health if you will for yourself and also put in place parental guidelines with screen time such as downtime settings app limitations always allowed and content privacy and restrictions so screen time it is completely fully featured on the iPhone 6s and I'm very happy for that as well Apple did not leave Siri behind with iOS 12 on the iPhone 6s they also implemented the suggestions for Siri shortcuts and we also have a fully featured although you do have to go download it from the App Store the Siri shortcuts application this application will allow you for those of you that don't know to create custom shortcuts or custom phrases to have Siri perform certain actions so you don't have to be so specific with Siri so I'm happy to report that that's also fully featured here so if you use Siri Siri shortcuts will make your life a lot easier in iOS 12 on the iPhone 6s. So now I want to go ahead and talk about things we do day in and day out. Things like launching applications here is on point. Launching the camera and taking pictures is also a lot faster in iOS 12. The shutter is almost instantly ready to go. Launching the keyboard to type is right there immediately after you invoke it just like that. And it is a lot faster, a lot fluid. So here control center launches very quickly. Notification center is on point and then the entire UI just feels a lot smoother even launching applications just feel a lot better in iOS 12 So I think you're gonna be very happy to update to iOS 12 if you do But let's go ahead and run a benchmark here for the iPhone 6s to see what the performance looks like on the iPhone 6s So here are the current numbers for iOS 12 iPhone 6s 2552 single core score and 44 70 multi-core score so not bad there as well now i want to also talk about the battery and the battery health a lot of you guys have been concerned that the battery health feature shows a new percentage of your battery capacity now this is normal because this feature has been better optimized to understand the health of your battery on your device so if it fluctuates let's say you had 90 and it goes up to 91 or 92 or actually below it goes to 89 or 88 then that's that's okay batteries degrade with time number one and number two again the software has been better optimized in iOS 12 to better understand the health of your battery. If you need a battery replacement, this feature will actually tell you that you need a battery replacement. So you'll be fine. Don't worry. Those fluctuations are completely normal. Now in regards to battery life itself, how long your on-screen time will be, don't expect more than 30 minutes on the iPhone 6s of extra on-screen time, which is a good thing. It's not less. It's actually more. So that's also a good thing. So should you update to the iPhone 6s iOS 12 right now well my opinion it is a solid software update i would definitely update uh, things are looking really good and the iphone 6s running ios 12 really delivers on the promises of doubling down on performance and increasing the stability of the device so there you guys have it my quick review iphone 6s running ios 12 thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace